lot of your tenure here has been rooted in player development. Which player did you feel made the greatest strides this year? That's a good question. Um, I thought Pat Connaughton uh, made a good jump from last year to this year. Uh, I thought Noah, the second half of the season, uh, kind of came into his own a little bit with uh, figuring out how he could be effective on the court. Um, you know, the, usually you look at uh, usually you look at young players when you're talking about uh, improvement and making a jump. Um, I thought Evan uh, wasn't necessarily improvement, but I felt like he got more comfortable with with his teammates and our style of play. Uh, it was unfortunate he hurt his hand because I thought he was kind of coming into his own then. So I thought the strides he made from from the beginning to the end uh, was noticeable as well. Do you think now with an off season to uh, prepare with Yusuf in your offense that? Your playbook will change much, or the your guys' look will change much. You know, people ask me that when Lamarcus left, and um, we tweaked it. Uh, we had a lot of the same sets. I think when you have when you've been here now for five years, uh, Dame and Dame, CJ, AC, and Myers have all been here four or five years. I think it, you, you don't necessarily make wholesale changes. I mean, Jerry uh, Jerry Sloan ran. A lot of the same offense. I mean, you use the same scouting report for a lot of the plays. Uh, I think you can look at different things uh, for that. But getting Nurk um, on the block, you know, we had no problem getting Lamarcus the ball on the block. So that will be that will become a more integral part of what we do. I think Nurk's passing skills showed that we can run a lot of the same things that we ran with Mason. So um, one of the things that I learned. <laughs> in training camp was you know we to keep things fresh we brought in we put in a new set for the guys who had been here last year uh, unfortunately it didn't work out very well but it was the first thing that Evan remembered and so Evan kind of glued onto that set when we ditched it right away well, halfway through the season but I think it's important to have the continuity of doing what you do and then you can tweak things as you go along but I think it's important to establish um, the things that you know you're going to do first, and then along the way you can say, well, Nurk, this might be good for Nurk or, or whatever it is. Kerry, moving forward, what would you like to see added to your roster? Is there a particular position or type of player that you think would really help? I don't know. I, I don't. To be honest, I really don't want to answer that question right now. Uh, we got a lot of guys under contract, and to say that would be some maybe. You have to. It, no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. I'll be like Trump. I don't have to answer that. Terry Stotts compares him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nurk is a three-point shooter. Your stance? Uh, I think eventually he will be. I think eventually he will shoot some threes. I mean, you look at what Marcus Sol's done. You look at Pau Gasol. I think at some point in his career he will uh, extend his range. I don't know when that's going to be. Probably not next year. Really? Probably not. I think he's. Uh, uh, at 22, I think it's important that he establish who he is as a player, just like Gasol and both Gasols did. I think they both established themselves. Uh, Anthony Davis, same way. It's uh, establish who you are in this league and then build on it. And I, I don't think he's at that point yet. I think he's, um, there's no question he's a better shooter than anybody expected. Um, he's got great touch. He's got a good release. And he'll get there at some point. But I'm not going to be, as I said, I'm not going to be the coach. All those people in Portland saying, okay, frickin' Stotts. We finally got a center and he's got him shooting threes. <laughs> so you're gonna your assistants take the ball? Yeah. <laughs> I could play my assistant, sure. <laughs> okay.